The main enemy of the person in his life is his beliefs and his fear. Beliefs are changed very quickly. It's like some kind of chi movement hit pain and then review of convictions. It's important how you think. The logic is important. The element of martial arts is language, the same language that you speak. Bavaria, the heart of contemporary Europe, European burgess and prosperous middle class epicenter. The medieval architecture, rich history and night tradition live in mortal consent with one another. The huge number of people have been aspired to such way of life, admired at all the time. Gold, pirate, ships and family temples are like the face of eternity. But why is it so? What does provide one such productivity? The answer is the rain tradition. The basis of this tradition had been raised by certain warrior system. As a result of scientific research powered in cradle of expedition force department under the leadership of the expert scientist Alek Maitsev. The rain technology consisting of secret and of manifest evident part has been revealed and cracked like a nut. Also it has been established that the warrior system has some sort of similar device. A case subject of this movie is the Norman knife. The first film we dedicate to the Norman, German work with the knife. This is a very powerful system, with a very serious logic, serious tactics and movements building technique. And we see that all Norman descendants had a huge military success in the world. The school must to have a logical model that distinguishes it from other systems. This way, a Norman dagger is the most significant element of rain tradition warrior system, which keeps its influence over territories 
so effectively throw out numerous countries as well as keep expanding worldwide. But if it is so, then there must be some country's old school of this martial system. However, attempts to find a similar school in rain will be a failure for one, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. There has to be a certain approach while working with such kind of systems. Let's assume that there is no German baron in your family line, who will be willing to pass such knowledge. Then, in such case, you have no choice but to restore the system by yourself. What is a restored system? A restored system is assumed its advance in nowadays. It means that by using an archetypological method and methods of applied history, we have to restore the past and system that has disappeared from the face of the earth long ago. What does it mean? It's disappeared? It doesn't mean that it didn't exist, it was just not known to many people. And people who were practicing it or owned, it had already died a long time ago, only some pieces had left. It should be pointed out that any restoration means a journey deep into the history, where new challenges await one. Nobody in the world knows the true history of the last thousand years. Nobody. The history writing in some books contradicts and history writing in the other books. All necessary archives were burning during the two world wars and the previous ones. Architecture is all that we can be guided by. Why? When a temple stands in the center of the city, it's very difficult to demolish it. Believers may rise against you. That is why we can use only special research methods. And then people ask me if I know real history. I answer that I know some. The descriptive part of the system restoration will begin from the origin and the nature of Norman Dagger. Technological history contradicts the actual history. You know, it's obvious already to everybody. Over the courses of the comprehensive research by means of applied history methods and a number of other special techniques, it has been proved that a stiletto preceded a Norman Stiletti. dagger generates rapier, that is a court sword. Following that, there comes an intermediate system. This is an intermediate system, then a half sword to shorten to the Norman dagger. First one should understand the logical model of work with the Norman dagger. This means that it should be some logic for you to understand it that it's all about. And you will see that all knights are standing here in such a way as leaning with both their hands on their swords. Yesterday you saw a particular bird sitting on the temple. Therefore, an eagle is a symbol of Norman knife tradition. I mean that this model will be the main for the explanation 
of the technique, tactics, and strategy. Let's look up on the body parts that Eagle has. He has two legs with claws, and as you can see, the Eagle acts like this way. See accordingly, the knife faces down too. He has a beak, which is also faced down. Eagle has wings that work on the left and on the right, like this, like this, and like this, and it can still hang in the sky. Pay attention that in the Norman tradition it can be one and two knives in hand, one knife turned this way, or two knives in both hands. The stops are done with the help of the bandit elbow and shoulder. Hand goes this way, making a throwing. According to the Norman tradition, in 90 of cases dagger is held in an inverted position. It is the most powerful step. It is held in this position and it is not shifted to this position. The Norman tradition does not assume to cut like this. Pay attention how they step in our army physics training handbooks and all others. Steps are made in this way. Please block my hit in some way. It is blocked good or bad, as you can see. This heat is fended off. Germans say that you have to step differently. Why? Remember, when the eagle sits, he squeezes his legs. And the knife flies out from here in one second. The Normans were forced to create the Norman system of the work with the knife and they knowingly choose the eagle of the logical model. Why did they choose him? First, the eagle flies high in the sky. It cannot be reached. The second, he attacked his prey suddenly and practically there are no chances for the prey to survive. They say that the system have some hits like throwing. Again, I stand here, a movement begins, and here I am sketching out the. As you know, the eagle primary weapon is the beak. So the beak is a very shock weapon. This bird by itself is very effective. It has a very large beak, which has serious crushing effect. The eagle legs and claws are very strong, so it can pick up, I think, even a one-year-old calf and drag it along. We are dealing with a few blocks of technical elements. For example, an opponent stand in some sort of battle stance, and he just started to go, and at this point he is stopped right in the chest. As you know, the eagle raises its prey and can throw it to the ground or carry it off. Therefore, the Norman technique involves certain kinds of locks and throws. There are the legs, claws, beaks and wings of an eagle in the logical model. This is the first option how to hit. 
hands will be here and now using an extensor the hits will go down to a point at the opponent and now I bring him down. I would say the classical Norman weapon is the Dirk. Other words, it's now equivalent to the Norman dagger. The dagger is a bit smaller in the size, but it's a weapon that until now it used by the military officers in Russia and Ukraine army, some other countries as well. It looks exactly like that, it looks like a dagger knife with a guard and it's the thrusting weapon, which is used to hit. Attempt to step from the bottom, watch. I'm walking slowly, so you can see. Take a look, a dagger is used to hit. If the lens thrust, razor cuts, Prebluda is using for work, then the dagger is used to hit. So this is the shock technique. There comes to hit, watch. For example, if our colleagues said the Navaja is street weapon in Spain and used in one-on-one -on -one fights, some other kinds of fights, defending one's honor and dignity, or solving any problem, but Norman Dagger is still a weapon of a gentleman, a professional warrior's weapon. So the difference is very big. To become a nobleman in medieval Europe, one had to be capable of defending his honor and title with a weapon in his hands. It was the only way to subordinate people around. Obviously, nothing changed since then. Nonetheless, most of people today believe that they will be able to pay off any time and avoid conflicts this way. So how does it all end? Take a look at news reports. For what reason things go in this manner? It always comes down to ineffective assumptions of modern people. Person's beliefs and fears are his biggest enemy in his life. There are two brothers that were born from the same mother, called ignorance. As I mentioned earlier, the blade helps us to learn quickly how to change beliefs to more effective ones. Movement, heat, pain, rethinking the convictions. Movement, heat, pain, rethinking the convictions. So you make a move, then you get hit, and then you feel the pain, and that's what makes you rethink your convictions. What we should do with the fear? For a strong, effective human, fear is a friend, not an enemy. You will learn how to use your fear to your advantage. Blade brings up a man's determination. That is modern people missing in their life now. So it is impossible to bring up a man's determination without working with the blade, without working with the weapon. There is no any more effective simulator on how to train determination. And then the weapon, the arm fight, even if this fight is only a training.
you have already seen huge hematoma that still remains on human body. Who has not seen, look at Alex. I would show it on the camera, the hematomes that were left by hitting him with a training blade. This is already held at hematomes after yesterday training. This is how to hematomes looks after the hits with the blade. The blade is a teacher. It can teach you a lot in lifetime. The goal is become a successful person. This blade can educate you. It can give you the education system that could never be delivered to you. Because you have already seen the way the people act that is the experience. Blade accelerates the rejection of the experience. Every time you are beaten up and you realize that this is stiletto that pierced your throat, you review your beliefs very quickly. You quickly going to change your beliefs to an effective ones. It is impossible to do in a real life situation. Because in real life you can may just disagree, you may take offense, you may just not understand, it. you may misunderstand it each other. But it is impossible to do when you are working with the blade. The blade will not give you a chance to use your old beliefs without changing them. Why? A man leaned in a hospital bed in longer cares. If every time when you are stuck in the stiletto simulator, you realize that it's real sword and you have been killed or seriously injured, it will help you to deceive your mind, change your beliefs and improve yourself quickly. It's versatile teacher. Fear and pain teach a human instantly. These are the things that God used to teach us during our lifetime. It's done through the difficulties that we face in our life. But if you are familiar with the logic of the blade, then it is easier to choose an effective convictions, and it will make your life manageable. This is the first step. The Norman technique originated here in Bavaria, Rain, where we are right now. These are the places that the mountains and accordingly eagle are found here. It is the birthplace of the Norman technique. Similar eagles are found in Scandinavia throughout Normandy. All that we could see is necessarily a relief, mountains and forest. Norman tradition seems simple. Now I see a man in a battle stance. What should I do? I can try to fix the arm. And if you learn how to deal with your own hands currently, you see, I particularly do not walk on my feet. Even if we have a man with a knife, here comes an attack with a knife. Look, what's going on? I just pick up the knife. You see the hands are already cut. Once again, just remember the way the beat beats. You see, I do not attach any force. And yet another version of the strike. Еще один вариант удара. 
You know, the eagles almost do not walk. They are either sit down or fly. Of course, the eagle can move on its feet for a short distance, but in general, this bird likes to sit down or fly. Norman battle involves front kicks. There are several variations of them. Such strikes are used constantly, not only by the Normans as the Germans, but also by the Scandinavians, Scots and Swiss, because it's very convenient. Just look at the eagle, it has wings. This ensures very strong stability, balance, which is very convenient for kicking because you will not fall. Winds are balancing and don't let you fall. A man doesn't expect a kick when there is a fight with a knife. This is really big surprise. On the counter strike or hit in the leg. The Normans beat on the hips. On the front right here, the abdomen, solar plexus, groil and legs. They don't use side impacts, blows on the feet terms, they hit the front. In what position the knife man stands, this way he kicks. Norman system doesn't require a lot of movements. It only takes one punch. See what happens. In normal technology the interception of knife from hand to hand is not used. But there is a rich transition technology without changing a grip from beak to claws and wings. Knife fight is transient. The Norman work knife system is one of the best in the world. Their strikes are more amplitude. If a person is standing with a knife in his hand, starts moving, trying to step, see what happens. I almost did not put up any force. Another hit and it's over. For the moment, you have an idea about motor blocks of Norman Dagger work system. However, there is important element in case one does exploit the system without having this element, it may have fatal consequences. Any martial arts stands on religious philosophy. And I want to explain why any military system stands on the religious philosophy. Because it encourages the person to perform certain actions. There is one very important point. Time of Carlos V, William the Conqueror and Nicola Machiavelli are already in the past. In Europe, carrying bladed weapons is forbidden and in Ukraine too. If you cannot carry it with yourself, then what do you do with the knife and the gym? It turns out that you are a criminal by definition. Having come to the gym, you're already on the path of the crime. And I want you to understand this. People who teach other people to kill with the knife, they are preparing criminals. What has to be done in such case? Sooner or later, a person will be forced to take a sword in his hand. 
the history of humanity is the best demonstration of this pattern. There must be some way out. Nobody would like to rot in jail. Because at a time of self-defense or protection of close ones, a Norman dagger was effectively applied. Your military system must use jurisprudence instead of religious philosophy. So your religious philosophy should be the jurisprudence. You have to be a good lawyer. This is your religious philosophy. And if you don't have this religious philosophy, and you worship another religious philosophy, then you will be in trouble. You for sure will find yourself in bad situation. Instead of trying to improve yourself, improve your quality, instead of being invincible and effective. But the deepest regret, we do not live in the Middle Ages. It happened so this time, sorry. And accordingly, the jurisprudence should be our religion philosophy, the integrated system. In our legislation and in the legislation of other countries said, the ignorance of the law you cannot say that you didn't know that this could not be done. If the system is not the fundamental understanding of the law, you are bound to commit a crime. In this film, we have looked into a work with a Norman dagger, but it doesn't end in here. This is just a part of the system that can let a person to achieve a desired way of life. In order of understanding the whole system, three types of Norman dagger should be looked at in addition. A short sword, middle and long sword. All this subsequently was the father of this system. Why do we need a short sword? It is known for what? For the body manures. That is where there is no place to swing a sword. We have no problem to use the same model of the eagle. To walk according to this principle by the cutlass. Middle sword used for infantry, foot combat. Most often it used in urban areas as it is a very convenient weapon for such battles. The two-handed sword is the next type. This is the siege. It assumes the fight one against all, and you need a place to swing a two-handed sword. But how can you use all of this in conditions of 21st century? Most importantly, how is it related to attaining an inspired lifestyle? My teacher told me that the noble sage, the European Knights tradition, includes the whole world. That is the language of the whole universe. This is a mortal language, which is spoken by the creation all the most effective parts of the universe. There is no model which cannot be artificially created on the training ground. That will be exactly repeating another vital model which has no relation with the military system. Using the language, you can describe everything. Therefore, you can think of the model of the life that can occur and find a solution before it happens with a sword, in the hands or without it, just hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
when you are engaged in the integrated military system. You quickly find solution in the situation that may occur or that have never took place in your life. They are unknown and unexpected for you. But you used to think faster. In hand-to-hand -hand combat or bladed battle, the time flows such faster than in your real life. The battle is fleeting and life is more measured. And if you can cope with the tasks in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the help of your thoughts and your mind, your thinking speed is much higher than the speed of thinking you need in your life. In the extreme, unexpected situations, time for you will be flowing more slowly than for other people, and this will allow you to operate more effectively. It is obvious that the practice of the work with the blade is needed not for killing other ones, but to learn ways to be effective throughout life. And if it is ever happens to you in the battle, it will not be a surprise for you, because you are never say goodbye to your blade.